Hey everybody, this is Tom with The Board Gamer. Today, we're going to do a quick overview and review for this game. If you want the full how-to, go ahead and click this icon up here or the link in the description. Now let's get into it. Mysterium is a 2-7 player game for ages 10 and up, with a gameplay length of 40-60 to 60 minutes, produced by Libilude. The basic overview for Mysterium has one player acting as the ghost. They distribute clue cards to the other players working together as mediums to solve the mystery of how that ghost died. Do so before time runs out or be haunted by the ghost until next year. Let me start by saying I love Mysterium. We have a board game group that is rather large and has people with varying taste in games. So it is very nice to come across a game that can both satisfy our numbers as well as satisfy everyone in gameplay. Some categorize Mysterium as a party game, and I know that term tends to have a negative connotation when it comes to board games, but I believe Mysterium is much more than that. It has party game elements. For instance, it's cooperation style gameplay, it's sheer number of players, but after those, it's a great deduction game and opponent reading game. Although the players are not your opponent, as the ghost, you'd have to think about how you'd interpret the cards and how who you're giving the card to would interpret it. Now for the components. These cards are illustrated beautifully. For instance, this location card or even the detail in the character cards or suspect cards. But not only that, some of these vision cards, I wouldn't mind hanging some of these on my wall as just sheer art pieces. I really like that everything included in this game seems to have a purpose, except for maybe the clock. I know it keeps track of the rounds and holds the clairvoyance tokens after they've been used, but honestly, if you had put a little round marker on the board, I probably wouldn't have noticed it. Now for the ease of play. I think this game is very easy to pick up. It's not that long and it's very engaging. I think it's especially good to get new players to play a game, especially if you had some of the other players who have already played. Now a newbie can't necessarily play the ghost right away. It's best to play one full round before switching up who's the ghost. In a nutshell, the rules are pretty simple and easy to follow, unless you're the ghost. Those do have a couple more complicated rules. So it's best to have someone who's already played before to play the ghost. I think this is a game that anyone can play and anyone can enjoy. Now with this game, you're given a large amount, especially of vision cards that can be interpreted in many different ways. This highly increases the replay value for this game. Not to mention there are a couple expansions that you can pick up to expand your vision deck as well as your suspect location and object cards. The theming is kind of fun. It kind of loses itself once you get past the ghost though. But the murder mystery element of the game is where it really shines. I feel unless you're role playing your character, the player's theming of being a psychic tends to fall off, but it stays strong as being an investigator. The narrative of the theme is really where it shines. It's really up to how you play the game, whether the theme sticks with you throughout the entire game. As for luck and strategy, luck is a huge factor. Not in a negative way though. It's more in whether or not the players will interpret the cards the way the ghost would when dealing them out to the players. But in that aspect, luck can also be helpful because they could come to the same conclusion even though they didn't follow the same path of thinking that the ghost did when giving them the card. Now for the clairvoyancy tokens, that's where the real strategy of the game comes in. Not only are you worried about the card in front of you, you need to pay attention to the other player's cards and interpret it how you think it would. Because if you are pretty sure that that person is wrong, you can increase your clairvoyancy to help you towards the end game by guessing correctly whether they are right or wrong. And in that case, it pays to pay attention to the other players. I want to conclude by saying Mysterium is probably the most played game in my collection. This board gamer says, not boring in the least. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notified about new videos. If you're bored now, click this for more games.